3 Endo software takes you step-by-step -step through the treatment planning process. In step number three, we will define the anatomical canal entrances and apexes. In the top left window, scroll through the slices to find the entrance to the canal space. In this example, we've identified the tooth as a molar. The default setting for this particular tooth lists four canals. If you identify an additional canal, it's easily added in the left side menu bar. In this particular example, we'll uncover a second distobuccal canal. Each canal is identified with a specific color. We'll start with the palatal. Click and drag a marker in the top left window to the location of the canal entrance. As you can see in the view on the right, you can adjust the canal entrance further by simply dragging the marker. You may want to identify all the canal entrances at the same time. Simply click on the next color marker in the upper left hand window and place it at the next canal entrance. Then go back to the right side view and fine tune that canal entrance location. You can then continue to the next canal. Move to the lower left window to begin marking the apex of each canal. We'll start with the palatal. The same process is used. Click and hold the corresponding color icon and drop it into place. It should be noted here that the higher the resolution of your scan file, the more likely you are to be able to pinpoint all the canal apexes. In this example, the distal buccal canal apex is obscured, so we're picking an approximate point. Once we have all of our canal entrances and apexes identified and fine-tuned, we're ready to go up to the upper right-hand corner and click on the red Continue button. 